I'm in my bedroom. Um, today's mukbang, Kaniokas. My favorite, like I would say this is Hawaii's best poke place. Because to me it is. So, my husband, he had to um, come home from work because I wasn't feeling so good. And um, I had to like go to the hospital and stuff. So yeah, so he went back to work and I'm here at home and it's like, I think it's lunchtime right now. So he asked me, where do I want to go for lunch? So I told him, since we're close to Waipahu, are you fucking serious? Can you guys be more loud? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> anyway guys. <laughs> I was being rudely interrupted since we we're like heading to Waipahu side. So, you girl got some Taniokas. I got garlic chicken, which is the best. Got three piece, really, really good spicy ahi, like bento. I got actually two. Uh, the other one is this, like this size with my mom because I asked her if she wanted anything for lunch and since he was heading down that side I wanted him to go drop off like this poke bento, speciality bento plate to my mom because that's all she wanted I thought she would like like lomi ahi or limu poke but she ended up wanting to have the spicy ahi bento so I told her yeah so I packed up her lunch the chopstick and then a Pepsi, a cold can of Pepsi, cause she's a she likes Pepsi. A quarter pound of the limo poke, which is really 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 good. I love limo poke, but Tanioka's ones are the best. My ultimate favorite. Every time I have Hawaiian food, I have to have my lomi ahi. This right here. Have this with chili pepper water, and it's. Awesome. I would say lomi ahi is like a minced fish, mi cu cut up minced fish that's like covered with, I'm guessing sesame oil, and you have onions, and you have green onions. You have some like a little bit chili pepper flakes in there too. These are mine. Um, other than that, I got these. I got these. And then I got, from also from Kanyoka's, I got my boys. They love their spam musubi. That's all I would say. They are in love with Tanyoko's musubi. So I got four of that. They already went chow down too. And the other two are going to be like whenever they're hungry as heck. Because my oldest, that's all he eats is spam musubi. Get into this mukbang. I don't even know when to start. I'm just going to eating. I'm just going to open everything. I'm hungry for each of these. Anything good with chicken with the rice and fish especially spicy ahi bento can we get this out oh but i do have something to talk to you guys about when i posted the video of the following my sister mephi's um bang bang chicken and shrimp video and i posted up on my instagram right she also shot me out for the, vi the video, which thank you, Mephi. But here's a topic we both want to talk about, me and her. So there's this, um, there's this, like, I, you can say it's a girl, but, well, because on her Instagram stuff, has a girl's picture, right? Like, a, she looks Tongan, or some kind of Polynesian. I was just going to say Polynesian girl. Um, hold on. Yeah, I mean, like Pepsi. I like cold. I like it. She followed me, right? Because I let anybody follow me. It's like, go look at my page. And you know, I don't care. I'm not hiding anything or whatever. She followed me. I followed her back because I was like, okay, maybe she wants to be friends and stuff like that. Because I'm a friendly person, right? 
my sister, she DM'd me on my Instagram because we don't have our numbers yet. Mind you, Mephi, we need to get our numbers. She messaged me saying that if this girl was following me and I just like, she, she just add me and stuff like that. And I said, yes. Mm. I love the carded chicken skin. It's so crispy and so good. Mm. Okay, back to the subject. My sister's like, oh, did it? So this chick followed you? I said, yeah. She said that if I knew her or whatever, but uh, she gave her these messages. Like, it was so creepy. Like, wanting her number and, you know, she, well, at first she was giving her a good advice about the YouTube th thing, right? That's the first part of it. All of a sudden, it got, like, from the YouTube suggestions to creepiness. Asking her for her number. It sounded like she wanted to, like, hook up with her. So I was like, oh, that is freaking creepy, sis. Like, uh-uh. I was telling her, too, like, good thing. We don't put up, like, personal things, like, where we live and other stuff. Anything. Psh. If this dude, or I'm thinking, I told her, it, it might be a freaking dude, but, you know, really? A dude using a girl's a girl's picture? Like, are you serious? I was looking up uh, her page, her, her Instagram page. She only had, like, four posts, right? All of it was in February of this year. No stories, no highlights, nothing. So it's kind of, like, kind of sounded really, really, really creepy. Like, okay, this is not one chick. This is a straight up dude that's using a girl's picture and her post. Uh uh, you can't play like that, dude. Anyway, this dude was just full on. Like, when I read the messages, I was like, uh uh. No, block, heck no. Now, come on. You've seen our videos, you've seen our husbands. You gonna really try? I didn't think so. Mmm. I love Tanya Lopez. It's sucks though. When, before I was married, before I met my husband, and before, you know, it was just me and my oldest, I had EBT. And I'm not ashamed of it. Everybody struggles. And also, you need help. You always need help from the state. Because you're on your own. What do you expect? So Tanya Yoka's used to, used to accept EBT. Now they don't. Well, it's not like I'm saying I have EBT. I don't have EBT no more. Like, sucks too. It would help us out. Yeah, they don't accept EBT no more. So my mom's all bummed out because <laughs> they don't accept EBT. But she loves Tanya Yoka's. Like, Charles, look at this. Look at all this. So all, all this meal plus the four musubis and my mom's, um, another spicy ahi bento plate costs 49.50 i have the receipt always pay for my fish because their fish is so fresh and the seasonings in it and the garlic chicken and oh, gosh like i can eat taniokas every day even my pregnancy too i'll tell you guys this this is my third pregnancy i've been eating fish raw fish since my per first pregnancy since my oldest i don't know why doctors always say that you can't eat raw fish you can't eat this you can't eat that first of all you can't eat shark or that has or a fish that has plenty of mercury like my grandpa said i'm gonna quote my grandpa back in the hawaiian days all hawaiians had was fish and pig and whatever they could find fruits um you know all this kind of stuff but they had fish because we were surrounded with water so guarantee hawaiian pregnant hawaiian women ate fish has no problem with that i took my grandpa's advice i'll eat fish maybe twice a week and my babies both of my babies were healthy like nothing was wrong with them nothing was ever wrong with them i can eat fish and don't you guys judge because 
like I said, this is my third pregnancy. I've been eating fish for all my life. I ain't. So all these fishes, they're ahi. They're tuna. My doctors told me the last time when I was pregnant with my second, my youngest, I said, oh, you can't eat fish. The honest truth, I told my doctor this. I can eat fish. My oldest, I ate fish. I literally went to Genki Sushi every week. My boy was healthy. Seven pounds and four ounces. Come on, you can't tell me I can't eat raw fish. That's like my life, if anything. I've been eating this since the, the get-go. You don't see me like having complications. Like right now, I'm only having complications because it's my first trimester. I can't wait till it's finished. By the way, guys, I just made 11 weeks today. Now I just gotta wait for one more week until my second trimester begins. Hmm. No, my sister, my few. She's gonna make a video about this situation too. Of the dude or girl, girl or dude. Either way, I say it's creepy. I don't like people like that. Like, you watch the videos, you see our pictures, you know we have husbands, you know we have kids. Like, are you trying to endanger us or something? Because you actually, in reality, you're gonna be the one that's gonna be in danger. So, good luck to you. Gosh. I tell you, I love Tanya so much. I can't get enough of it, honestly. Like, even my whole family, well, except for my dad. He's more Hawaiian than my mom. And he does not like raw fish. Like, I look at my dad, I'm like, really? You're Hawaiian. And you don't eat raw fish? Like, are you serious? Uh-uh. So I got my raw fish and my eat my seafood habits for my mommy. Honestly, if they had garlic chicken skin, I would totally eat that. I don't know. Hmm. This is so good. I wish I had chili pepper water. Ooh. And poi. Gosh, this sounds so good. Poi and chili pepper water. I need a one of the guys came up to me and they're like uh did you get assist yet with um poke i was like oh no 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 uh but can i get the so this was supposed to be a half pound but um they were kind of low on it that's how good this thing is they were almost out of it so i took the last one of whatever had left of the lomiahi so this is not literally half pound of the lomiahi the, the lomiahi i don't know why i did that <clears throat> In my throat then i asked for the quarter pound of the limo poke that one was almost running out too good thing we got there on time especially lunchtime because that thing all those like this one the lomi and the limo would have been gone even the spam was to be too it was like only one tray half tray of the lomi i mean the lomi honey the spam was to be and if i don't get my Boys, their spam musubi, they get so grouchy, especially my oldest. He'll eat only spam musubi, and that's it. Oh, like, this was so good. I don't waste my food, especially when it comes to fish, but I always save my fish for later. Fish can be good for the next two days, in your fridge even when the two days are up i still have my fish like well not i still have my fish but my fish is gone my fish is straight up gone all right for example this lomi ahi right here you can eat this with for me kalua pig lao lao can eat this with just this and poi and frick you good but also i have to if i'm eating like kalua pig or lao lao like the whole hawaiian plate and stuff like that i have to get the hawaiian chili pepper water at first like i didn't like it 
but I got used to it because of my mom. She always had the lo mein out here with the chili pepper water. This is so good. It's gotta be. Mm. For the limu poke. For me, what do I eat this way? So same thing, you can eat it with Kahlua Pig and Lalo too. But when it comes to like, for when I grew up and I was living and me and my brothers and my sisters were living with my grandma from my mom's side, she would always make dinner like full on. She'd come home from work and then she starts, you know, prepping up on dinner. And me and my brothers are like doing our chores. We're Might as well was washing dishes. And then for dinner, uh, before dinner, I would have to make rice. My brothers were. Chaz would have the trash and Chase would have the table, like wipe the table down. So that's all that that's always been our chores. Laundry time. They'll be like every Sundays. So I learned all my cleaning and my responsibilities and stuff from my grandma and my grandpa. They raised us really good. And my mom and dad too. They did. My grandma if she had limu poke or oh so I'm gonna put up a clip right here, right there. So I made, she she made this like special akule like dish that she makes, the way she makes it. And she makes it when there is beef stew night. Me and my sisters are always the one to keep eating. We would be the last ones on the table. Well, I'm always the last one on the table because like I said, I'm a slow eater. Even my mom too. Well, it is her mom, but we, me and my mom, we get so excited when it's when it's beef tonight. We know that she's making that a cool day. But also too, my grandpa would go to like tomorrow's and get me more poke or any Hawaiian poke in front of him. So when I made that a cool day, I called up my grandma and I called up my grandpa. And I go, Papa, Mama, I made, I made Mama special, the kule stuff, dish. They were so happy that I made it because, I don't know, it was just like, they were happy. I was like, they were so proud, like, they were proud of me. They wanted to join the video. And my baby's eating. And my boy came back. Look, hold on. There he is. He came back with his mommy. And he's about to go to sleep. So let's close this off, guys. So I just probably eat my Tanyo because you guys saw it. If you guys want to see more of this, please put a comment down below. Ever in Hawaii, please go and visit Tanyoka's. They will have samples for you guys if you guys ever want to try poke. And like I told you, their pokes are fresh. So if you guys ever want to like have some good poke please go to tanyoka's i suggest to go to tanyoka's that's the best place to go get poke for me for my advice other people are uh in hawaii has their own advice of what pokes are the best if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't what are you doing here anyway just subscribe hit that subscribe button you guys won't regret it. I have like, eh, lots of videos for you guys. I'm trying to come up in my head. Got lots of like topics that I wanna do. Some videos I really wanna do. Also, please follow me on all my social medias. I have Instagram. I have Snapchat. I have Twitter. I have TikTok. TikTok is the most place I would be on. And Instagram. I'll put the links down below. If you guys want to follow me on all my social media, link down below of the directions. If you guys are ever in Hawaii, to Tanyoka's, or I'll give you guys their website. You guys can look at it. It's better for you guys to go in person and see it for you guys self and taste it for you guys self. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Mahalo!